RapidMQ is all about asynchronous messaging or asynchronous communication. To better understand this concept, let's imagine this very simple scenario where we have a UI app, could be a real single page application, then we'll have an API that has an endpoint that's responsible to create a user, to store the user in the database, which is obvious, and then of course also to send a welcome email, because that's what's nice to do when a new user signs up for our application. So the UI app would in this case make a request to create a new user to the API, and the API would have a bunch of work to do create the user as a model, persist the user in the database, and then also send an email notification. However, if we think about these three, is that email notification sending kind of like doesn't really belong here, because it's just something that could happen in the background. So we just need the data that we have from database and return the answer. So what we have here is a synchronous communication. Now, if we think about this, and we might have a nice idea. What if we can decouple the email sending from everything else? Because they don't really belong together. Sending emails could happen in the background. So we can just come back here and remove the response and remove the email sending that's done by the API. And let's introduce a new infrastructure piece, which is the message broker. Now the message broker, as the name implies, is responsible to handle communication between different parts. In our case, we have the API, which is a publisher, which publishes messages, and we have our email sending service that is a subscriber to that specific message broker. So now when a new request comes in to create a new user, the API, instead of sending an email, it just places a message to the message broker. Hey, we have a new user. And then the message broker is the one that sends that email or that lets the subscriber know, in this case, our email service that, hey, we have a new user and you need to send an email.